I have just got to have one of those. Let's talk about the Ten Commandments. This is what the Bible says about that. You shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. In today's language, nor his car, nor his house, nor his wealth, nor his boat, nor his jet skis, or his quads. There's a house in my area. They have like eight four-wheelers, like two motorcycles. And I drive by it and go, man, that would be so fun to go ride in the four-wheelers. There's lots of desert around here to go and play with. So anyhow. I know we have a huge issue with covetousness here in America. I've heard it referred to as keeping up with the Joneses. I think that was a piece of cotton that just flew by. Yikes, that's some wind. And with our technology continuously advertising to us with customized advertising, we're in a continuous covetousness battle. I'm beginning to think we're being brainwashed to think want is actually need. I need a new speaker to drive around for my delivery so I'm not all by myself. My screen is cracked up in the corner there. I need a better editing studio like my podcasting peers have. I need another degree to keep up with my fellow theologians. Now, in and of themselves, these things aren't bad, they're not selfish, and they're not wrong to want. But I'm not going to die of boredom doing my deliveries without a speaker blasting. I can sing to myself, I can talk to God, and I'm all alone, so I can take my son and my husband on the phone with me. I also have a perfectly good phone. In fact, that's what I do my recordings on. And the recordings are perfect. The crack on the screen doesn't impede anything. And, and I have a perfectly good editing studio. In fact, it was a gift from a friend because she wanted to contribute to Metamorphic Grace Worship Art Studio and reaching you guys. It's just annoying sometimes because it auto does stuff. It automatically deletes spaces, which is so annoying because if I put a space in there, just leave the space. And sometimes it just suddenly dumps off of my screen. But thankfully, it saves it every time and I just reopen it back up. It does have auto save, which is thankfully a part of it. And I could have a collection of degrees and certificates and it probably still wouldn't be enough for me because I have a fascination with studying the Bible and theology and textual criticism too. I have the book smarts. I've been studying and studying a lot for years, actually decades now. I just like to have the technical accolades. You seem smarter when you have certifications. Who knows if I'll ever be able to afford another degree, but that's okay. 
I'll just take more certification and learning courses online as I can afford to. We look at others and want what they have. But let me bring this up. We don't always know what they paid or what they went through to get what they have. And it's possible that they got this item 10 years ago and they're still paying on it because they put it on the credit card. Colossians 3 calls covetousness idolatry. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. But now you yourselves are to put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another. We just talked about this on Monday. Since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all. Let's not get confused about want versus need. There are things we need in life. but. Here in America especially, I think we have more wants than needs. I want to live a simpler life. I don't want to be bogged down with a bunch of stuff. Especially when sometimes that stuff isn't really how it was cracked up to me. Peanut butter feast. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. Make sure to we were made hit the to subscribe love. button we right there if you haven't yeah. already. And click the bell so you get notifications. And hit that like button for me as well we if you would. And I will see Christ. you next time. We know this is why we're Maranatha. Here. This is why he gave us life. So let his love shine through in everything we do. It's all for love.